coming in. Remind, I'm sure the truth. We are getting some more breaking updates coming in. This is about what really happens in the aftermath of uh, both the ministers, Manish Sisodia and Satyendra Jain, now resigning. We are learning that Sisodia's portfolios, because he was holding the ones divested from Satyendra Jain too. So as many as 18 key portfolios, they're going to be distributed between Kailash Gelot and R.K. Anand. Rupashi Nanda is once again with us. Uh, Rupashi, tell us more. Yes, as uh, like I was mentioning earlier also, uh, you know, these names were doing the round and there was no confirmation of uh, either of uh, those, uh, uh, you know, names. Uh, so now we can confirm that uh, Rajkumar Anand, the person who was inducted into Kejriwal's cabinet after the resignation of Rajendra Pal Gautam is going to be handed uh, some uh, portfolios. Remember, he was a minister in the cabinet who did not have any portfolios. And now, uh, just, uh, uh, you know, uh, Kailash Jailot is going to be also sharing many of the portfolios that Manish Shisodha used to handle. And the other big breaking uh, news that we have at this point is that uh, Arvind Kejwal is not going to induct any new people as ministers at this point in time. Okay. Uh, so perhaps uh, the chief minister has tried, uh, you know, uh, to uh, uh, send some sort of a signal that, uh, you know, the, that even though the resignations of uh, Satyendra Jain and uh, Manish Shisodha have been uh, accepted, no other person is going to be appointed in their place. Uh, so those uh, positions uh, will remain vacant in the ministry. Now, this is going to be a very tough ask uh, for all the ministers uh, who already are there in the cabinet. Because remember, uh, Delhi cabinet is a very small cabinet. It does not have too many numbers. Okay. Uh, so, and, and, and uh, when, uh, when you have so many uh, you know, ministries uh, and so many departments uh, to, uh, to handle, it just means additional work. Uh, for the ministers uh, who right, are uh, right. still in the cabinet. Uh, uh, the Rupashri, I wanted really to understand from you, because you track the party very closely, two things. Do we have any details of what these resignations say? How have they been sent? Any details at all of what they are saying in their resignations? Any response yet from the top brass, which is Arvind K. Driwal? Any responses at no, all so far? No, no, no. No, 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 no response uh, from uh, the Chief Minister Arvind Kejwal uh, so far. And uh, no response also, uh, you know, from, uh, you know, uh, other people, other top people in the party as to what actually triggered uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, you know, this uh, sudden, uh, you know, change of uh, or turn of events. Like I have been mentioning, it was the Supreme Court's verdict actually, which told the Ahmadi party uh, to go to the High Court, exhaust uh, its, it, uh, it, uh, uh, you know, options of uh, uh, getting remedy from there before turning to the Supreme Court. And, and going by what has already happened, and uh, remember, these are people who are very close to Arvind Kejriwal. Satyendra Jain was close to Arvind Kejriwal. Manish Sodhya and Arvind Kejriwal's uh, bonds are very well known. And uh, the other person who has been in uh, under arrest now for four months is Vijay Nair. Again, another person, mm. uh, you know, who again was, uh, was uh, you know, operating out of the chief minister office. Uh, so, uh, and Vijay Nair again has been uh, in jail for four months. Okay. So, uh, uh, yeah, so going by the kind of uh, tenure that... Uh, uh, these uh, people uh, have been spending in jail. Uh, perhaps, uh, the, you know, Arvind Kejriwal did, uh, uh, you know, decide uh, that yeah. uh, he, uh, that it is time now, yeah. uh, uh, perhaps, uh, you know, to bite the bullet. Absolutely. Uh, the know, writing to, was on yeah. the wall. Absolutely, Rupa. Thanks a lot for joining us. Because as I was saying, there are a lot of other arrests that have been made as far as this case is concerned. Nobody is managing to get the cases against them quashed or get relief as far as their custodies is concerned. My colleagues Akash and Arunima are also joining us. Arunima, before I come to you, very quickly, Akash, any responses that you're getting from Delhi politicians, the Congress, the BJP, have been hammering the Ahmadmi party over this issue and both have been demanding resignations of these ministers. Uh, first of all, two things, uh, Shivani. Uh, this particular decision has uh, come out as a surprise, first of all, because no one was accepting that this would happen that mm -hmm. early. Mm -hmm. That uh, day before yesterday, we we saw that how Manish Sodia was arrested, and today a decision has been taken, and uh, you know he resigned. In fact, Satyan Jain has also resigned, and their resignations have been accepted. Now, you know there were talks that uh, you know Arvind Kejriwal and the party is working on some plan B, but uh, with the particular uh, you know de uh, development uh, that no minister, no new minister will be inducted. This is another surprise because uh, you see, uh, just uh, uh, you know, after a few days, we'll have a uh, Delhi budget. Yes, yes uh, you know, Kailash Gehlot would be presenting, and uh, it was it was we decided in fact that Kailash Gehlot would be presenting the budget. But uh, you know, as far as the opposition is concerned, so opposition used to attack Aam Aadmi Party, saying that you have two different policies for the party. Mm -hmm. In Punjab, you say that you portray in fact that Aam Aadmi Party is so uh, imandar party uh, that you know whenever there there is uh, a charge, in fact there is a uh, 
uh, allegation of corruption on any of our minister uh, you know we are asking them to resign in fact in punjab we saw this similar image yes. but in delhi uh, you know Ahmad, uh, bjp was constantly attacking aam aadmi party saying that yet that your minister is in jail from last 10 months and before and you've not done anything that's possibly power, because the delhi attack. is the most important model isn't it this is where the model started this is where all of their perception comes from arunima it seems that the writing was on the wall isn't it arunima is not with us anymore akash you know the other thing also is that the next few months are going to be extremely crucial for the aam aadmi party because they had such large national ambitions but it seems like their very heart of their model is under crisis now and also also shivani you know it will be crucial to mention because i had a word with several aam aadmi party leaders they yeah. are not, you know not uh, they are not talking on on record but, but they are saying that you know it would not be easy uh, for these minister to uh, you know carry uh, on these portfolios in fact aam aadmi party will have to uh, end up new ministers in this case but as of now you know in, in fact the speculations were going that saurabh bhadwaj and atishi will be uh, given some sort of responsibility but as of now aam aadmi party has decided that no they are going to continue with the current ministers rajendra pal uh, uh, you know rajkumar anand and also kailash gelot kailash gelot comes from najabgad constituency and rajkumar anand you know had replaced uh, rajendra pal gautam just a few a few months back so these ministers will be continuing right. with power, uh, with with the we we'll uh, continue to track the, uh, that very closely uh, you know, akash i do thank you for joining us this is an unprecedented scenario playing out in the national capital we've not had two sitting ministers in jail they're not sitting ministers anymore at least but unprecedented crisis for the aam aadmi party we'll have to wait and see how they can come out of this and when we'll hear from the chief minister first after these big developments